Welcome. Today what we're going to do is talking about a method that you can use to keep tabs of who's mentioning you, your family members, the product or service, website, your organization, online. So that we kind of have a way of monitoring your reputation. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go to Google Alerts. And <clears throat> when you're inside Google Alerts, one of the options you have is to create an alert. And again, this is a no cost option that will automatically send email notifications to you or to whatever email address you specify and you can track several things online. We're going to go through that. There are two other options that I do want to mention very briefly. One is called Multego and this is the community edition which is also a free option. Yeah, I do have a paid version but this takes a little bit more technical know-how and it does some really great graphs and a way of tracking the reputation of your company. It's a really great way of seeing what's being said and what correlations and who's tied into what. Another option if you don't have the technical expertise or you don't have the staff power is to use a company similar to like Digital Shadows. Digital Shadows is another company they'll do it for you. They'll create the reports They'll track all of the executives or and their family members if you want. Again, you choose the scope, you know, your reputation as a brand, as a website. They'll track all of this for you. So what we're going to do is going back into Google Alerts. Again, this is the free side. And what I typically do is I'll typically put in first name, last name if I'm wanting to track a person. So just to kind of give you an idea is I'm putting in, and you're going to see I've got quotes, first name, middle name, last name. Now I'm going to click on show options. And one of the things, and again, there's many things you can put in here. If it's your family members, you know, your first and last name in quotes, your first, middle, last name. If it's your website, you put your website in there in quotes, an email address that you want to track, a name or a product that you want to track. Each of these things, I would create an alert, a separate alert for each one of them. Let's look at our options. How often do you want to receive a notice? Do you want to receive it as it happens? If it's a very critical situation or a very well-publicized staff member or executive, I'm going to do it as it happens. I want to know right away if there's a possibility of a threat, so or I'll do it once a day. Most of the time, I choose once a day, at most once a day. The next thing is, what sources do I want? It'll automatically choose for you, or you can tell it to come down here, and if you select automatic twice, it'll automatically do news, blogs, and web, and then you can come down and add books, video, discussions, finance, so you have every possible thing that's being monitored on this person, or this website, organization, again. And you can choose which language. Do you only want to have it, you know, results that are showing up on English speaking websites or any language? So I'm going to choose any language. And what region? Do I want to be United States, Australia? You know, you can choose a certain area of the world or typically I go with any region if I'm able to be very specific on the person. And then how many results do I want to get? Do I only want to get, you know, the best results if it's a very large corporation then I would be very picky and probably say only the best. If it's a smaller organization, I'm going to choose all the results. And then you can say, who do you want this delivered to? And you're going to see I can do an RSS feed, or if I'm already logged into my email account, it's going to automatically put my email account in there. If, I, if I'm not logged into my Google email, it's going to give you the option of what email account do you want to put in there. So now what I'm going to do is just give you an example of a website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my website, I'm going to copy my URL from my website and I'm going to put it in here, my networkpaladin.org. And I'm going to have it do it once a day and I'm going to choose my sources. Double click on automatic to choose all of those automatically. And then I'm going to say any region and I want to show all results. And it's going to be delivered to my email account. And then I create alert and it's done. That's how easy it is. And let's say if I was going to track myself, because I wanted any mention of myself, come back into show options. It's going to all, again, I'm going to choose all these different options and any region, best results. And then I'm going to create, I only want it once a day, create an alert. So now you see that I have two alerts on here. I hope you found this useful. Again, this is just one of the ways you can kind of keep track of your brand, your, your staff, your family. This is a way to help keep them safe. Thank you so much.